I am Stephanie and I am a professional artist and this is my channel where I share a bunch of stuff and today I am going to share well first of my frustration <laughs> I've been wanting to do a video about air dry clay today because I tried air dry clay for the first time but it didn't went well. Uh, really it just didn't went well. Honestly I've never been as stressed um, sculpting as, as now. Never. Usually for me sculpting is super fun. I, I, I love sculpting, you know. Um, especially challenging sculpts, like things where you really need to like take your time. And this is the opposite of that. It's like you have to do, be fast all the time. And, and I, I, I hate it. <laughs> just, it it's, it's, just, it's just super frustrating. So I'm, I'm like close to, I don't know, I, I, I don't even know. Oh, oh. A brand contacted me a bit over a year ago. Uh, to offer me some air dry clay to test out and I said yes because I really wanted to try the air dry clay out and I also specifically asked for some glue because you have you needed to glue the air dry clay when you sculpt and they sent me some air dry clay and some glue last year and I just didn't have the time to get to it the first time they wrote between the first time they wrote and I said yes and the moment they actually shipped the package something like four or five months had passed if not more so when I got the package I was like already in something so different that I I just didn't find the time. A few weeks ago I thought that it was, maybe it was about time to try it out. So I tried it out today and it was a huge mess. I first tried to rhinoceros and, and that didn't quite work out. Probably didn't pick the easiest things to sculpt but then usually that's not a problem for me. So um, I decided to make a rhinoceros and one thing that uh, that really bugs me is I started to sculpt and I started to draw lines and, and I thought oh um, it, it takes lines really well uh, that looks good and so I, I, keep, I kept on sculpting all around the head and then I realized the lines were kind of fading like <laughs> it was awful <laughs> it's just ugh. and then I thought okay um, if I had to use air dry clay, I would use it to put on plastic bottles, so I went for that. But during my process, I realized I did not have the right glue, so they did not send me the right glue, which just got me very frustrated. <laughs> Apparently, I don't have the right glue to glue the air dry clay. Um, wonderful. And then I also realized that air dry clay shrinks. Look, the clay shrinks. I thought I couldn't get more frustrated, but I was wrong quite a lot. And now I'm just waiting for it to dry and maybe tomorrow if it's sturdy enough I want to paint it. Well, what's left because I had to manually remove the shrunk spots. So it's been a total mess. On the bright side, and this is why I'm making this video, it was not to rant about air dry clay, although that certainly is very fun, so I am probably need to redo the intro or not, I don't know. I'm going to teach in Pilsen, so that's in the Czech Republic this year, in October to be more precise, and I'm going to teach how to make insects, insect sculptures, with the growth on top, so it's going to be a really fun class, especially since I don't really do step-by-step -step classes. I more show ways to sculpt and ways to approach sculptures, so students are really very free to create their own vision of insects or just growth. So it's going to be a really fun class. I seldom teach in real life, so if you want to join me, that's a good occasion that you don't want to miss. And as a teacher today, I received a surprise package which I started to unbox, but not completely. And so I want to share that with you today, since all the rest, kind of the air dry clay and all, it's just a huge mess. So I received two boxes. The first box um, is like this, and you can see Polymer Clay Week 2018. 
And basically what you can see inside is some um, sweets, which um, I'm not sure they're vegan, but well, now, now it's too late anyway. And then some tools, which I honestly have no clue what those are. This one especially, it's fruit shape plates. And I mean, it looks really cool, but what what is it? So if you know how to use that, I, I would love to hear your input. I'm guessing that you put this onto clay and then you you cut the shape. The polymer clay week is hosted by Lucy Clay Tools. So that's why they sent me some tools. And they didn't ask to for me to make a video. Since I got it, I I'm thinking, why not? And then I've got also some stencils. I'm guessing you can put them through a pasta maker and then it takes the shape of it. I, I have no clue. I'm, I'm probably going to have to check on their website to see how, how you use it. Oh, that's for the clay extruder. Yeah, because, and that's kind of cool because I've heard great things about it. So they sent me the clay extruder. 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 Kind of a hard word to pronounce. And I have a friend who told me that it is pretty awesome. So I have a clay extruder on my own and I rarely use it. And however, I'm kind of excited to try this out. I'm probably going to make a review about it because I think that might be useful to some of you. I also got a blade. Um, Oh, a zigzag blade. I thought it was like rounded, but it's zigzag. I'm not sure I actually had a zigzag blade. I don't know. I, I don't... This might sound odd if you are um, really into polymer clay or if you know the polymer clay world a little bit. But most people involved with polymer clay, they have like thousands of different tools and texture sheets and whatever those sheets are, the stencil stuff. And they use like a lot of it. And I'm really basic with tools. I have like some ball and the tools and some, I mostly use modeling tools and the pasta machine. And that's pretty much it and blades, obviously. But whenever I see those really fancy tools, I'm like, okay. And I, I don't really know how to use them. Should be interesting to see me struggle with these. I'm quite happy to have them because I mean, it's always nice to have gifts. This here, which I'm guessing is the magazine, because they are writing a magazine as well. It smells like glue a little bit. Um, yeah, two. I think I was featured in two of their issues. Issues? Yeah. Uh, I was featured twice in their polymer magazine and to be honest, I really like it. It's extremely clean, it's beautifully made. It's, it's lovely. Ah, here it is. So one of the features here. Okay, that's pretty much it. And since this is turning into some sort of weekly recap, I also finished a sculpture which I'm really proud of with the miniature giraffe. I've already edited uh, the speed sculpting that is going to be uploaded on Monday. And I almost finished a painting. I might do... I might post a speed painting video. I'm not sure you're really interested in that. So this is the painting I also finished this week or almost actually I want to rework the legs here. I don't I don't I don't like the legs. So I want to rework that. But I it's almost done. I finished a sculpture, um, I tried the air dry clay and I got this. So yeah. I really hope you didn't mind this weird video. I'm going to call it a, a weekly art vlog or something like that. I would like to make one or two videos per week, one a speed painting or speed sculpting of my work and one um, with some, ideally some advice or some reviews of books and the materials I use really. Um, I prefer to review and to tell you the materials I use because I think that makes more sense than something you just got and don't really know how, how to work, which was what I was trying to do today. So I just 
contradicted myself. <laughs> this video is a mess. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Uh, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps with um, getting found on YouTube and I don't know why I do this with my arms. And yeah, um, next video is going to be much better, the speed painting, the, the speed sculpting. And after that I hope I will be able to make a coherent video again. So, bye.